Today I'm going to show you how to set up your home office. This is our great room where our family gathers and you can see my children's computer station over there. Down the hall I have my office right next to the great room and you can see that as I've explained in a prior video I have glass doors and when the doors are closed um, my family will knock on the door gently and I will either wave them in or wave them off until I'm done with my phone call. When the doors are open or closed, I feel like I'm part of the family with the glass doors. I love where they can see me, I can see them, see what's going on. To the left of the office here is my wife's station. She runs a stamping up business, home-based business, so I take no responsibility for her office area. Here in her laptop here, she does the books for the company and pays agents. Takes about an hour or so a day for her to do that with 147 agents. You can see that above we've mounted kitchen cabinets and um, they weren't very expensive to mount for storage. Shelving. I'll come around the office. I'll come back and explain the equipment in a minute. This is my work area. I wanted a work area where I could look outside all day long and see the weather and the birds and animals and my kids roaming around out there. To this side you can see I'm surrounded by my books. I love to read and I love having my books here as well as my DVDs and videos and uh, music DVDs. Next to that I've got a um, plastic plexiglass storage shelves that I had made years ago which I used to store all my documents forms that I need to use. Next to that I've got some binding equipment. Below that I've got a half empty two drawer filing cabinet that I really use for a shelf more than anything because for years I've turned everything into a PDF file and run a paperless office. <clears throat> Next to that I've got a commercial grade color laser printer that scans faxes, staples, collates, does everything. It's one of the better deals I ever negotiated. It's a very expensive machine, a um, few several thousand, few thousand dollars. I got this from a local vendor. It's a Canon on a $300 a month lease to own payment for four years and at the end of four years I owe 10 percent to buy it out which will be about two thousand dollars. Great, great buy. It's a super product. If you're doing high volume, I do a lot of volume, so this is great for me. You don't have to do that volume, that high level of uh, copier, but it's up to you. You can see I have an office grade phone system throughout my home. I have it off the hook right now, so while I'm making this, you don't hear the phone ringing. And back to my glass doors, and I have a shredder. It's important for you to have a paper shredder, as you know, with uh, privacy laws. You can't let any documents go out with your client's information on it into just your trash. So I shred anything that's got information on it. And above that, you'll see the map of Ohio. And all of those are the locations uh, where I have agents around the state. And I run that here from my home office. Now to my equipment. I have a higher volume commercial grade fax machine. You won't need this probably unless you're doing a lot of volume like I do. I have it because I do a lot of volume. Uh, but there are much less expensive machines that you can purchase of course. That's a Canon. I've owned it for 10 years. It's high quality. Next to that I've got flat screen TV. I typically have the news on most of the time as a company of voice in the background. I'm home by myself working in my office most of the time. I also play video uh, DVD concerts um, and I've got, you'll see up here on my shelf, I've got a uh, one of my speakers for my surround sound system. I can close my doors and have a pretty good live concert in here when I want to. Next to that I have a laptop of which I'm getting ready to make my primary uh, computer but I haven't done it yet. It's, I'm in the process. Behind that I've got my t small tower computer that I've used for over 10 years. Uh, this is a power spec that I bought from Micro Center. This is what I've run the company out of for over 10 years. And it it's a no-name brand power spec. They're 
Micro Center is the um, owner of that brand name, and they have stores around the country. <coughs> I highly recommend them. Doesn't matter what name's on the front of the box; it matters what's inside the box, as long as it's Intel and so forth. <coughs> Next, that is an old computer that I'm going to take down and replace with my laptop. I just have not done it yet. Next to that is a screen for that computer. And next to that are two screens tied into my new, newer, about a year ago, tower that I used that I was going to originally replace the old one with. I'm still going to use it. I use redundancy um, so that I have several copies of things. And uh, if something breaks, I've got another option to um, do what I need to do. Now... What I'm showing you here on my screen is Windows Live One Care. I use this for my antivirus and spam um, program. It's from Microsoft. Um, since I'm running Windows Everything, uh, you would think that Microsoft would be the best utility to use for that. It's only $79 a year and $2,008. And you can have up to three computers tied to it which I do all three of these are tied and I have my that you can set up automatic backups where the backups are going from my old computer to my new computer um, and it happens every night in the middle of the night plus from my laptop to my new tower over there so I've got multiple backups going on all the time I'm going to close that out and show you or I'm going to minimize it. I also, in addition to that, run what's called a program Retrospec Express. You don't have to run this, but I'm just showing you. And I create a duplicate copy most every night of my computer, this one, which is my old tower where all of my current documents are. I'll be switching that over again, as I mentioned, to my um, laptop. Down here you will see this is my external hard drive that Retrospec creates a duplicate copy to. And I have two of these. I have one in the bank in a safety deposit box, and I rotate these out about every other day or so. And I make a copy, a full copy of my drive, and it's not a complete copy, it's a copy of all changed files every day. I cannot emphasize enough how critical it is to have a regular backup system. Now, in addition to that, my critical information, such as my financial and my, and my uh, contact manager and all my agent files, everything that's really critical, I create another backup on a read-write CD-ROM disk. And so I've got three different copies of things going on. When I take my external hard drive to the bank, I take a, also a copy of these CD drives of my three critical pieces of information. Financial, my QuickBooks, my accounting, my contact manager, and my agent files. And those go um, with the external hard drive that's back here again. When I unplug that, take it, and switch them out with um, the ones, the other copies I have, uh, in the safety deposit box. I just can't emphasize enough how critical backup is. I do multiples. I'm fanatic about it. If you've ever had a hard drive crash and lost information, you'll become a fanatic as well. And then again, my laptop, which is going to become my primary computer as I take down my old tower. Last point I'll make to you is that when I built this office, I built it very inexpensively with just kitchen cabinets. You can see these are just kitchen cabinets. They have filing cabinet here, which is for like a uh, kitchen desk center. And they weren't expensive at all to do. My wife and I designed this work surface that goes into the bay window so I could put lots of equipment on there and sit and look outside all day long as I work. As you can see, as I look out here, my twins, when they were little, played on that playset. I could sit here and watch them. I could have the window open and talk to them as I needed to. They've now, as they've gotten older, they don't play on this playset much. 
my daughter plays volleyball. You can see we have our own volleyball court here in our backyard, and they play volleyball back there, or, as well as other things. And I feel like a complete part of the family all the time because I can see what's going on. I can communicate. I can stop. I can take a break. I can be part of the family, come back and work. I love working from my home office. I have worked from a home office for almost 20 years in my old house. I worked in the basement, which I didn't like a lot because I didn't have any real good size windows. I like being here on the first floor with lots of windows. So that concludes our session today on how to set up your home office, how to do your backups, and good luck with your setup.